Hi guys, this is gsnnone.com and I'm here with a game called Lara Croft Ready Run. It's available for free in the Windows Phone Store and I'm playing it on the Microsoft Lumia 640XL LTE. This one is an endless runner. It feels like Temple Run only it has Lara Croft in it and you'll be going through the jungle and temples while swiping your way around. And that was not a good start at all. So let's focus and maybe try not to die next time. Okay, let's not revive her just yet by spending precious anks and let's run again, paying more attention this time. So you'll be going through the jungle and you will swipe up to jump. You just saw a small reptile passing by and now you have to walk on walls or not. You really have to pay attention here and uh, swipe at the proper time. It's not all swiping uh, to the bottom or top to jump or slide below. You also have to swipe to the side in order to walk on walls. And once again, run again, pressing that again. Since it's an endless runner, you will be doing that motion a ton of times. That was a bit of a parkour movement. And one more here, collecting coins that are spent to give Lara newer and better weapons and new outfits and other cool things of course there's a trap here obviously and you also have to find relics and use items and even there is a drive-by shooting section or better said run by i have to aim at these guys these reptiles and shoot at them while they're throwing spears at me and i just unlocked an achievement pretty nice action music in the background I just took a map, magnifying glass, and I just walked on a wall. Things get hectic here sometimes. I've seen my share of uh, endless runners that are a bit faster than this one. And at some point during the adventure, you'll be able to ride an ATV, a motorcycle. You will run from a T-Rex. You will swing uh, from uh, all sorts of jungle trees and try to stay alive. I have to save Lara now since I've reached further on. And let's proceed with the adventure. And that was a bummer. Sometimes the traps are camouflaged within the vegetation or within the relics. So that becomes a bit annoying in the long run. That's my main problem with the game. The traps are pretty well hidden and that's annoying. You can get all sorts of bonuses, usually cash. And now let's see what this allows us to get. So. Here we got the levels, we got jungle temple, we got desert ruins and mountain pass, that's coming soon. Here we got the store, we can find the Kevlar vest, there's the extra clip, steel toe inserts, medipack, onyx turtle charm and here are the weapons. We got the signature dual pistols, crossbow or shotgun, dual SMGs and then we got the outfits, quite big prices I have to say and then the power-ups like tunnel vision, funhouse, vertigo poison these are actually some interesting things as far as I know you can uh, take these curses and send them to your friends on Facebook to affect their play so this game has Facebook integration and leaderboards and you can take a curse and send it to your friend and it will make the screen 8-bit or give the screen a VHS flicker as the other guy is playing if he survives for 30 seconds, the cars come back to you, so that's a pretty cool system. Okay, so let's play again. Of course, the gamer has to have the game installed, otherwise it's all for nothing. And once again, this tree looked like it was part of the scenery and not an obstacle, and it fooled me. Okay, resurrection with an ank, and this time paying total attention, or not, that's becoming annoying here. You really have to pay a ton of attention and assume everything is a trap. And let's play again. Athletic movements, pretty nicely done animations. The occasional cracking staircase. This time we survived. Swept to the right, to the left. Try to stay alive and I just fell. Sometimes the traps appear out of nowhere, this time it was a chasm and I had to walk on walls and I didn't get to do that. As you can see the game is a bit frustrating, of course you may be better at it than I am, but in the long run you'll find yourself dying for stupid reasons, like maybe a wall crashing in front of you, in spite of an excellent play till that point. 
Okay, so maybe we can get to more than a few meters this time. It's nice that the scenery changes every time you play. It's basically the same uh, level, however, you'll change rooms, so to say. Different parts of the jungle, different temples, and my least favorite trap was that one. Nice illumination here. And the T-Rex chase is fun, I'll tell you that much. But what's not fun are these reptiles trying to spear me. And I swiped down, but my command wasn't interpreted properly, so that's a bummer again. We have to play from the beginning. So Lara Croft Rally Run involves playing, playing and playing again. And we got here her little pack that can include a lot of goodies like suits, all sorts of weapons, Kevlar vest and all that. Here we have the achievements. That apparently should give me some coins. Anyway, let's try and run again, maybe for the last time. As you see, I'm no good at this game. I've seen much better gamers with higher scores. But endless runners are pretty tricky when they're filled with traps. Of course, the game is also available on other platforms, not only Windows Phone. You can find it on Android, on iOS and on Windows 8, I bet. It may be available for free, but you can spend some real money here by unlocking Lara's outfits and all sorts of packs and weapons. If you really want to reach that T-Rex that will be chasing you. Okay, so I just shot a bunch of reptiles for some reason. And that was annoying again. You saw that I didn't have a chance once the chasm appeared, so that's a bummer again. And one more attempt, as I said, it's an addictive title, it's a typical endless runner with pretty nifty graphics, it has Lara Croft in it, pretty much uh, equipment to unlock, quite a lot of equipment to unlock, to be honest, some nice animations here and there, but it remains a frustrating title with some traps placed out of view, and you have to admit this is true, even if you're a good gamer, specialized in endless runner, there's no way to predict where the next wall will fall in front of you, and that's frustrating. This time we get a multiplier, which is good. And the main purpose here to progress is to unlock, or better said, find the relics in order to help us unlock new maps. Okay, I can also shoot boxes, not only reptiles. And apparently I can also shoot spears that are thrown towards me. So, let's jump. Seem to be on a good run. Famous last words. Close, and I bet I'm going to the ATV section. Every once in a while, when you do a crazy parkour move, the animation slows down, and you'll see a cool sequence. This is my least favorite part. It may seem easy with the ATV and stuff, but in the end, you're running blindly because you don't exactly have a view of your traps. So I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 6.5 out of 10. It's a bit hard and frustrating compared to other endless runners. It pretty much uh, changed the legacy of the game's Tomb Raider. It's not Tomb Raider, obviously. It turned it into an endless runner. It was launched at the end of May. You can use an ATV, a motorcycle. There's a ton of content here, but the game is too frustrating for my liking. That's why uh, gsnone.com will give it a 6.5 out of 10 to Relic Run. Bye-bye.